Is the Jordan 1 Lost and Found worth it? Hey everybody, I'm Actors and I'm so excited to bring you guys this video. Welcome back to the only channel on YouTube that covers in-depth videos of cars and streetwear. And today we're reviewing these bad boys. The Jordan 1 Lost and Founds. Arguably the sneaker of the year. So before we unbox these bad boys, be sure to like and share for that YouTube algorithm. As well as subscribe. Any support would just be awesome. Now let's get into the shoe. First off, I want to start off by checking out the box, and holy crap, is this box cool. So as you can tell, it's like a normal Jordan 1 box, but it looks like it's got a replacement lid on it. Replacement lid of one of the standard, you know, Nike orange boxes, and it looks really dope with all like the little uh, worn details over the box. The sign to what's to come with this shoe, man. This all worn and beat up look. Just awesome, man. I mean, look, they even got details on the side right here. It says sale with a little price tag on it. So cool, man. This is just a really dope box. All right, well, lifting up that replacement lid and we see the wrapping paper once again. Very special wrapping paper here. Really hate that it is special because I'm so afraid of like creaking it up and like ripping it, but yeah, we can see like little advertisements on it, you know, Jordan 1, you know, $29.99 sale. I mean, that's really dope. Bunch of other Jordan advertising. Another one for $59.97. Back then, Jordans used to be very cheap, but that's not the case today. We also got the iconic Jumpman photo here and there. I mean, all dope. I can spend a lot talking about the wrapper, but removing that wrapping paper, reviews. Woo! Reviews these bad boys. I mean, this is something to look at. First impressions was, wow. These things definitely take your breath away. I'm not over exaggerating nothing, man. These things are just incredible. Also something very cool about these shoes, we even got a little receipt on the inside here because the main theme of this shoe is it's supposed to be like you got it from a mom and pop thrift store and stuff. So we can see right there, you know, Sandy Bros is this is the spot. We got the receipt all written down like you just picked it up from 1985. Air Jordan 1 basketball shoes, paid for cash, final sale. Got even a date right there. August 30th, 1986. I mean, shall I go on? This is very dope. And he even tried to yellow out to kind of give it a little bit of an age look, but on the other side, you can just see it's printed. One thing that, that scares me is like, this is just paper and you can very easily rip this. So let me put it back in the box. Here's a closer look at the Jordan 1 lost and found some background information. So this is basically trying to look like a normal Jordan 1 Chicago but as if you thrift it back in 1986. So it's got a whole aged and beat up look to it. These things are dropping on November 19th, probably one of the biggest Jordan drops of the year, 500,000 pairs plus. That is a lot of Jordan ones. And these things are gonna retail for $180. A little $10 premium over your normal pair of Jordan ones. So is this shoe worth it? I mean, this thing is probably gonna sell and you might have to pay resale for it. So is it even worth it then? Well, let's go over it starting with the styling of the shoe with the sole. So as you can tell, just a normal Jordan 1 outsole, all red with the Jordan 1 tech. But however, really hard to see on camera. If you zoom in, it's got a lot of kind of like white markings as if the shoe has been worn a couple times. Worn out age, you know, there's dust on them and everything really dope. I really love how the worn vintage look is even carried on through the outsole of the shoe. Really good attention to detail. You got your regular swirls up front, Nike logo right there in the middle with the brick pattern towards the heel. Swoop it up to the midsole of the shoe once again, almost an all basic white Jordan 1 midsole. However, this one has kind of got an aged color to it. It's not quite as like bad even as my beat up Jordan 1 origin stories here, but you can see it is not really full white. It definitely has a little cream vibe to it to let you know that this shoe has been through some years. Really cool, I mean, oh, I'm just such a sucker for vintage stuff like this. Coming up to the uppers of this shoe, now this is why we're all here. Basically, it's a Jordan 1 Chicago with a bunch of aging side effects to it. So we can see that starting off with this white middle panel here. 
all done in white leather but if you zoom in oh, it's really hard to see on camera I had to adjust my camera settings a little bit so you can see but yeah this leather is cracked up and it's actually for real cracked up like it's not like just a styling touch like you can actually almost chip away the paint there which is really cool but also kind of concerns me about the longevity of the shoe because i think this paint would rub off pretty easily if you're not careful but yeah all cracked up paint right there the swoosh logo is kind of remain untouched just a normal black swoosh logo and then towards the back we have a red heel panel more red for panels like the eyelids that connects all the way to the panels for the mud guard of the shoe once again, all red leather. And the quality of the leather is pretty interesting. You know, this being a really high mass produced shoe, the leather still has some great quality to it. Like it feels really nice and premium. I wanna say it's nothing spectacular, but definitely way above average. It's that right amount of like soft and smooth, not too soft where it breaks apart, but not too hard and stiff. Just the right amount. Given a more focus to the middle of the shoe, we have a white toe box. That same white leather that was used on the side panels right here. So it's all cracked up and perforated to give your toes a little bit of breathing room. Now to one of my more favorite details of the shoe, the tongue. Now if you guys have been a long time viewer of my channel, you probably have seen my Nike 77 Blazer video and I absolutely love that shoe. Why? Because it did a lot of details to make it a vintage look. And one of those things was the tongue. The tongue had exposed foam and it was yellowed out and everything with the old vintage Nike logo. And this one is the same deal. It's a Jordan 1 tongue that they took and kind of yelled it out to give it a old style vintage look. To kind of give it some age to it. And then continue this, we have a classic Nike Air logo on top right here. Red background, white logo. On the back of it, it reads out some text that says, Nike and the swoosh name and stripe are trademarks and you're guaranteed of quality. And Nike is certainly guaranteeing quality on this shoe, which is surprising considering how many of these Jordan ones there are going to be. Another thing to know is how these shoes were factory laced, which was pretty interesting. Obviously right now these shoes are laced up for you guys to get a better picture of what the shoe looks like and also to do the on feet footage but yeah this shoe came factory lace with both laces of the shoe in them which was quite interesting in the case if you're wondering the other pair of laces you get is white laces which is really cool you know this shoe does look pretty interesting with white laces but i think black gives it that extra contrast it needs but it's just nice that they give us an extra pair of laces at all but it is super nice they give us an extra pair of laces for this shoe let's give more love to the heel of the shoe not a whole lot actually going on with the heel you know, something I, I wish they kind of did was kind of maybe put some fake uh, cuts on the shoe or something like that. But no, it's just pretty clean heel actually. It looks really, really like a Chicago. We got the red heel panel, red tad to hold the other panels in, and then we just have the top. However, the top of the shoe, once again, one of my other favorite details of the shoe is quite interesting. First off, this shoe, being a Chicago, has two red wing panels with the Jordan 1 Wings logo right there. This one is kind of embossed in black on the shoe, really nice. I like it when the Wings logo is embossed because then you get problems like my Jordan 1 breads where it kind of peels off. Not this baby, it's staying on. It just adds like another layer of quality to the shoe. What's interesting though is the panel behind the Wings logo. As you can see, it is black leather already pre-cracked for you guys. If you don't know, Jordan 1 has a knack for cracking on the top. Now none of my Jordan 1s have have it so far, but if you wear your Jordan 1s long enough, you would know that the top portion likes to crack up. And this one is no exception, obviously, because it's trying to give you that aged look. Once again, it's just really dope. I mean, look at that. Zooming in so you guys can see a better look of it. I mean, awesome. Really completes the design of this shoe. Running off the shoe, the sock liner is done in black. Interior, mostly black, some white up there in the front with a white insole and red Nike logo. Kind of wish they kind of gave you like a beat up insole or something. This looks a little too clean on the inside, but these are just minor criticisms. Yeah, that about runs off the styling of the shoe. Now, how would I wear this shoe? With absolutely anything. Jordan 1 silhouettes are known for going with pretty much any outfits, casual outfits, formal outfits. And this shoe having pretty normal colors, black, white, and red. The red might be a little hard to match with, but this is gonna be kind of your statement piece. You know, if you don't know what shoe to wear to make your outfit look awesome and pop out more, you throw on a pair of Lost and Founds. But how I would wear this shoe, I think I would go really classic. You know, kind of like maybe a pair of normal, 
like wearing some white socks with a pair of normal jeans that are tucked up at the bottom. And then for the top, I'll just maybe do like a plain white graphical tee. You know, really trying to keep it simple because this sneaker will kind of speak for your outfit. And now, and now it's time for my final verdict for this shoe on a scale of one to 10. This is it. This is a 10 out of 10 shoe. I was about to give it a nine for being so many pairs, but this shoe is just too damn special. Styling is great. The execution was super well done. The quality is amazing and it's just a really special shoe. This is a 10 out of 10 sneaker, a must have for the year. If there's any shoe that I think you should ask for for this Christmas season, it's probably gonna be this guy. And hopefully you can snag a pair because there's just so many coming out. Now I'm just gonna round off by talking about the future of the sneaker, you know, what's gonna happen. So I think at the gate, the sneaker is obviously gonna sell out and relatively quick. Just so much hype and demand for this shoe. However, there's still a lot of supply. So I think out the gate, the shoe is gonna release with about 300 to 350 resale price. That's how much it's actually really going for right now on StockX. And I don't think when it releases, it's really gonna budge. But over time, for sure, give it six months, maybe a year, this thing will be $400 plus guaranteed. 400 maybe even $500 in like two years from now. No doubt in my mind, man. I mean, you should see how much the 2015 Chicago's are going for. And this one is kind of more of like a special release. However, like I said in my other previous video, this shoe um, is kind of a variant. You know, it's not really a true Chicago because, you know, with all the cracks and the aged look. So who knows what that's really going to do to the market. I think that might hurt it a little bit because it's not exactly a true, you know, Chicago. But yeah, I think we all can agree that it's going to be very exciting to see the Jordan 1 Lost and Founds drop. And that's really all that needs to be said for this shoe. So the Jordan 1 Lost and Found. What do you guys think about it? Comment down below your opinion, like and share for that YouTube algorithm, and last, and certainly not least, subscribe. I'm gonna exit off with some on feet footage, so let's get to that.